all of the work that we've done over the last 10 years, all of the, the academics we have interviewed, um, the, the politicians, the business leaders, the psychologists we have interviewed point to one thing that in many ways, this is a fantastic time to be a woman in the workforce. Women have an enormous amount of leverage at the moment. We are better educated than men. We get more degrees than men. We get more postgraduate degrees than men. We also get more PhDs just recently than men. Um, so our education levels are higher in a world that is looking for more talent. Um, we have influence because of our power as consumers. Women control about 83% of consumer spending in the United States. In 2007, for the very first time, women even bought more cars than men in America. Ford, by the way, was so struck by this finding that they decided to have a revamp of their cars and they recessed the door handles of cars on the driver's side by an extra quarter of an inch because they realized that women were putting their hands in and with their longer fingernails, they were tapping up against the door handle and they didn't like it. So, cons so consumer product makers are responding to the growing power of women. Women in America now earn more than their husbands in one quarter of all family households. In fact, that number is growing, and within the next decade, they reckon that American women, 50% of American women will be more, earning more of their husbands than their husbands. This all gives us a lot more power. It suggests that power is shifting from men to women. Half a dozen, a dozen, sorry, global studies now show that companies that employ more senior women outperform their competitors by every single measure of profitability. The thinking is that it's because those companies are making smart decisions about talent. They are opening the door to a wider variety of talent. And we know from all of the research, there's a guy at the University of Michigan who's done, actually a mathematician who's done fantastic algorithms on this, showing that when you get a diverse group together, they actually make a better decision than when you get um, a homogenous group together. Even if the people in that homogenous, homogenous group have higher qualifications than the people in the diverse group, there is something about that diversity of experience that is going to get you the better decision. So bringing more women in is allowing companies to perform better. Companies that are making that smart de decision about talent are seeing the return in terms of higher profit. Warren Buffett, uh, described it beautifully. He said, why would any company in today's globally competitive market want to play with only half a deck of cards? You want the full deck of cards, you want women at the table, you want to promote women in your organization. 